My name is Steven. Just doing a quick review of this guy right here. It's the CO2 meter. Also measures like humidity and temperature, but I really wanted it for the CO2 because we have a couple of fireplaces that are gas, gas stove, um, HVAC as well. We have a ton of gas stuff going on in this house. So um, I will show you what this actually looks like. It's very kind of classy. It looks good. Um, nice white design and it's mountable. I think it even came with the mount mounting screws that I think I put them somewhere. Um, but very easy to set up um, piece and on the side here just to give you a small tour is I think this looks at the co2 level so it's gonna be if it's in the normal level which kind of shows here min and max ranges um, it's like a nice graphical chart over time which is actually really cool um, I've actually seen it in all these areas before which is very concerning I don't know what this means other than maybe the powers on but this is bad okay and just you know good um, environment so looking at this side over here um, I know you can turn on the backlight by pressing something, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. I swear, I mean, there is a backlight that I think does turn on. I don't know if it only does it maybe at night. Um, maybe that's what this this is. Oh, there it goes. So there's a nice backlight, as you can tell. Um, it, it's a super easy to read. Max and min CO2 levels. I think you can switch all this stuff around, but temperature is right there. What the actual CO2 is parts per million. I've seen this thing go up to a thousand. In fact, overnight, I had the door shut to this room and it started beeping like crazy at like 12.30 at night. So before you, before you set this up and just leave it at night, I mean, it's probably a good thing that it alerted me, but I didn't know what was going on, but it was in a very dangerous zone apparently. So it started to put off the alarm. So um, I'm just leaving this thing on all day next to the office and we'll see what happens. Um, it's just very kind of eye-opening. I'm gonna put it out next to the fire uh, as well once we get that going too. So anyways, I hope that this review does help. And as you can tell, it just went over into the medium range because the parts per million have gone up. I don't know what's going on. It's winter time and it, it's kind of a sealed house. So who knows what occurs whenever that it goes up. But I know that that's not super dangerous until it goes over like a thousand, I think, just from what Google said. So at some points it can get kind of, kind of bad for whatever reason. So I'm going to continue to research as to what's going on. And we just bought this house. So we're just wanting to make sure that our levels are okay. So as you can tell that backlit did go off again, uh, but it is pretty easy to turn back on. You can change all the charts from I think CO2 to humidity to temperature, et cetera. So it's a nice thing to, to have. But I hope that this review helps. I certainly uh, hope that um, you stay safe. So that's what we're definitely trying to do with this, um, with this device. So uh, appreciate your time. Thanks, everybody.